What is evolution? Evolution is a change in the characteristics of a species over several generations, or a more simpler definition would be change over time. Evolution usually takes hundreds to millions of years to occur. However, recent studies in the Galapagos Island indicate the organism facing ever-increasing pressure from the El Nino and La Nina effect into climate change may be evolving over the course of decades, not centuries. The four fundamental forces of evolution is natural selection, gene flow, mutations, and genetic drift. It is very feasible that humans could have evolved from apes due to our similarities in the amount of paired chromosomes, with humans at 23 pairs and apes at 24 pairs. A real-life example of evolution is fish. Today I will be talking about crappie and bluegill. Even though they are not the same species, they are, ve they are very similar. They are very similar in their feeding behavior, such as feeding on insects and on other premature fish. Also, they are similar in their spawning behaviors. Both move up shallow, and the male protects the bed. But these two fish differ in many ways. Crappie are bigger and have silvery white bodies, which are white crappie, and black bodies, which are black crappie. On the other hand, bluegill are much smaller, way less, and are filled with colors such as red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. If a mutation were to happen to a crappie, which makes it grow larger and have more bigger teeth, then the mutation would cause the fish to eat bigger prey. This is an advantage, and if passed on, it can spread through the whole lake and make the crappie thrive and live longer. Crappie may also evolve through natural selection. Crappie can either be black crappie or white crappie. Depending on their environment, the color of their scales would be an advantage or a disadvantage. If there's a variation advantage, then that characteristic would be passed on to the offspring. Eventually, the characteristic could be common in the whole population. If the characteristic is a disadvantage, then the crappie that had that characteristic will die out and the trait will be eventually eliminated. Evolution can have a positive effect on a population in many ways. For instance, the beginning of a giraffe population would have shorter necks and would not be able to reach the fruit from a tall tree. Over time, the species of giraffes would evolve and adapt to their surroundings. Giraffes with longer necks survived and reproduced while the shorter necks died off. This would be an example of a positive effect of evolution. A negative effect of evolution could damage a population, though, such as when a species at the top of a food chain gains an advantage that overpowers its... In this situation, the prey would be under a lot of pressure, which would force them to move to a new environment. That could cause change due to their environment and adaptations, and they would not resemble their original species. This is the founder effect. Another example of genetic drift would be the bottleneck effect. This occurs when a disaster randomly selects genes from a different species. The surviving organisms would reproduce and pass on that gene, which could lead to less biodiversity in the population. Evolution has occurred over many generations of organisms. One of the best examples of evolution is the evolution of apes to homo sapiens. The human diversity diverged from apes around 7 million years ago. The first members of our lineage that started walking upright were Australopithecines. As the lineage evolved, we learned to make stone tools, we discovered fire, and we learned how to cook food. We have evolved as we know. We have evolved immensely from apes, even though we share 99% of our d DNA with chimps and monkeys. Human evolution may have occurred because of gene flow. Gene flow is when individuals and their genetic material leave a population and join another. Some examples of this are when bees carry pollen between different flowers, when farmed salmon escape and mate with wild salmon, or when butterflies of one color join another population of butterflies with a different color. Some things to keep in mind when entering biology is that biology is a study of life and evolution is everywhere, but it takes some time to occur. Enjoy biology and have a great year. The new area would. Oh, I'm trying to get. Prey would be under a lot of pressure, which could force them to move to a different area. <laughs> the human. Do <sighs> when sa when farmed salmon escape and when ma through the lake with. Looking <laughs> upright, we're astrolope. I can't. <laughs>